All right, let's talk to our, our next guest, Brandon Graham. Of course, it's brought to us by Primo Hoagies. Be like BG, be like Brandon Graham. Make your game day epic with party trays from Primo Hoagies. Online at primohoagies.com. It's not just a hoagie, it's a Primo. It's uh, Eagles legend Brandon Graham. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning. Good well, morning. Brandon, um, got to be one of the worst losses. Obviously, you've, you know, you've dealt with some. This this was a rough one. Can can you take us inside how it is that the team after the San Francisco game gets throttled as bad as you guys did in Dallas? What a lot of people are trying to figure out is how did that happen? Well, you know, for one, um, we definitely penalties ain't helped. We gave it away. We gave the ball away three times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as a team, collectively, I know we did had a great week, uh, but the, I mean, it was just it was a rough one, man. It was one of those uh, one of those that you got to deal with during the season, uh, and I think it's more magnified because of who it, who has been the last two weeks. Everybody's been you know excited for these two games, and you know they haven't went the way we all wanted it to go, uh, but. You know, everything is still right in front of us, but I just know that, you know, we can't get the ball away and, and we got to make sure on defense, you know, when it's time to get a stop, um, you know, that we don't, you know, penalize ourselves or put ourselves in a bad position. Uh, but uh, I, I'm going to get a credit to the Cowboys this week. They they got us, and, you know, that's pretty much much what happened in the game. Brandon, let's let's talk about the D-line, your, your unit for a sec here. So three sacks is, you know, it's fine, and, it was an incredibly impactful play by Fletcher, obviously. It loses juice because the team gets crushed, but it was a great play. But it did not feel at all like there was consistent pressure. Why isn't the unit with a lot of quarterbacks in recent weeks? Because, you know, it's a it's a high-paid group. It's, it's obviously that and cornerback where Howie has put the premium on salary structure and draft picks. Why isn't the D-line making a greater impact in these games recently? Well, um, you know, for, for for all of us, I mean, of course, the ball, I don't know if y'all look at time to throw, you know, see how fast the ball's coming out. But, you know, that's that's what they that's what they doing to us, you know, a whole lot more. And then when we do get a little time, you know, we, we disrupting them. Sometimes, you know, he escaped the pocket, get uh, you know, uh, they make plays. Uh, up front, especially the last uh, couple quarterbacks, you know, they extend the plays. But, um, you know, I just feel like the ball's been out. And, you know, as a D-line, you got to keep coming because you know what you did last year. They definitely don't want that to happen again. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, they, they definitely, you know, is on us more, uh, chipping more and doing a lot more, you know, creative things, especially up front. Coach says that we are what we put on tape. So based on what – you guys put on tape. What are we? Hey, we we attending three team right now, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying. We we got everything right in front of us. Uh, the world is not the, the the sky is not falling just because you know the last two games is not what everybody you know wanted to be. But if we believe in each other and we believe uh, that you know that we got to this point for a reason, I, I believe we're gonna definitely uh, make sure. And we um, fix our issues because you know, nobody want to sit through the week and hear, you know, people talk and, you know, they don't know what's going on for real, you know, on the inside. But, you know, we got to make sure we put out a better product than what we've been doing so people won't have, you know, too much to say. But I know that uh, for us, we're going to get it right. And I believe in this team and the team believes and we believe in each other, you know, and despite what's been going on the last two weeks, um, because, you know, uh, of course it's a little more juice because of who it is and what happened last year with, with the 49ers. And then, of course, the Cowboys going to be every time we play them, you know, we, we, we got to beat them. But um, I know that uh, it didn't happen the last two weeks. And we got we got Seattle this week, and it's like how we respond. Of course, we wanted to respond with these Cowboys by getting on the win column, but it didn't happen. So there's no sense of crying about it. Let's fix it. That's really, you know, be out there really trying to uh, look look ourselves in the mirror and, and just know that yeah, we ten and three, but we gotta we got we got some stuff that we got to get better on so that we can make this run. So was that the first time in in the game against Dallas that you've made a play as a nose tackle? And is there more what? Brandon Graham at nose guard to come this season? Well, you know, we've been we've been doing we've been doing it for for a while. I mean, it's like situational stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, where we can get all of us out there, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, we always, 
I mean, I had a couple, um, you know, the Rams. I had one I just fell down with them, uh, but it wasn't a holding call like this week. But they be pulling, you know what I'm saying? And, mm-hmm. and it was a lot of a lot of that going on this week. Um, you know, like I said, the penalties killed us, and when we got penalties, they picked them up. You know what I'm saying? So it was just it was one of those games where you know we didn't help ourselves by mm-hmm. you know fumbling the ball three times, and I'm just talking. You know, just from a team standpoint, I ain't pointing out, you know, sure. nobody on none because we, oh, we got our own issues, too, on, on the other side. Uh, but uh, I know that when we was about to capture the, um, the momentum, you know, it was, a, it was another, you know, just, it, it, was just, it was just up and down in that game where I thought we was about to make that run at the flat strip set uh, in the touchdown. And, you know, we, we couldn't get off the field. Uh, Sydney was right there. I feel like that was a big third down in that game. Uh, that you know didn't help our cause. Um, you know that we we had to get off the field, and so our third down defense for sure has to get a whole lot better. And I know we're gonna get better because we we all are, are invested in this, and we ten and three right now, and we can still be number one, get a first round by, and all this. We just got to finish out the season right. Brandon, you mentioned Sidney Brown. Uh, we have young guys, Jalen Carter. Yeah, young guys out there. Do you notice those young guys struggling with this expanded season based on what they're accustomed to? Be, you know, their last season was college. Now they you know, we're week fifteen at this point. Is the rookie wall real with with our defensive players? Well, I know the I know the rookie wall uh, definitely uh, is a, is a real thing. Um, I don't think. For for our guys right now, I mean, I, I don't want to speak for them, but I know that, you know, they don't show it to where, you know, because they ask a lot of questions, especially, you know, J.C., uh, Jalen Carter, he, you know, all the all the guys, you know, I, and, and that, haven't, that haven't came up. Them boys feeling good. Um, you know, I don't think they're dealing with any injuries or anything right now. So I think that is just, you know, part of, part of the season. But I know that, um, you know, it's a long year. Because you're right, they they'll be getting ready for the bowl game right now or the playoffs, whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And so they get a little break in between. Yeah, studying but, uh, for finals. Low yeah, key, just hanging out. That. So you know, yeah, yeah. But um, no, I, I think that um, you know these guys they they want to get it right and they want to make plays. And I and I know Sydney with him have an opportunity because uh, I didn't realize Reed had got out the game. It's like man, it's more experience and ex- exposure for him uh, so that he can, you know, t- continue to keep getting better because more playing time for him. And uh, I feel like, you know, it's just going to slow down even more for him. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm liking that the young guys is in and we got their back. Brandon Graham here with us. Brandon, let's, let's say one more thing here. You know, Derek Gunn reported yesterday that a player on offense said to him that the Eagles offense is predictable. This was an unnamed player, private conversation, able to be reported, which it was. You've seen a lot through the years, including when things start not going well, some players start talking, and sometimes it's private quotes that, you know, or, or uh, anonymous quotes, I, I should say. Can you take me inside your mindset as a leader of this team of do, do you feel that you or others need to address to the guy? Because, look, you guys do interviews, and, it, it you know, some of it is required, some of it you guys do on your own, some you talk to media members privately, but do you want to have a concern if guys start talking out of school, and two, if so, how do you handle that? Well, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to get on top of it quick because uh, I just found that out yesterday. So first thing you want to do is, you know, definitely I know Coach going to address it for sure. Uh, we want to keep stuff, of course, obviously in-house. And, you know, if you got an issue, especially with us being a 10-3 and three team and we still got, you know, everything we want in front of us, don't panic just because of what everybody else is doing. Like, because everybody don't see what we do inside. And that's why you got to keep it inside. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, all the little private stuff. That's why I don't, I don't really be talking to people during the year. I mean, I, I handle my responsibilities, like talking with y'all yeah. and talking to the media here and there. But all that private stuff ain't private. You know what I'm saying? And so at the end of the day, I know that uh, <clears throat> people got jobs to do. And, and some people – you know, gotta gotta know that. You know, dealing with you know stuff like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, if it's a problem, uh, we all gotta address it, and we and we should we should go to the source other than, uh, you know, talk to people that can't help us other than just try to hurt us. You know what I'm saying? I do. Brandon, good luck versus the Seattle 
uh, Seahawks. I know uh, you, you get the extra day's rest, which I'm sure uh, you guys are happy about. Good luck with that, my man, and uh, and good luck. Yes, on, on sir. We're going to have a good one next week, man. Let's get it. Good stuff. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. All right, there he is, Brandon Graham. You know, one thing about BG, he is – um, very adept at uh, handling his business. You can t- you can tell he's a veteran. The way he answers questions, and you know, what I'm saying? seriously, yeah. like he's a veteran and he's focused. But you could tell based on how he answered that one question that there was an annoyance factor with that one comment getting said to Derek Gunn, and then that getting reported.